What's going on, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to when BBC weather forecast goes wrong. About a week or so ago, I reacted to a funny compilation of BBC news bloopers and fails, and that video was so hilarious. It was one of the funniest videos I've seen in a really long time. You know, like I said in that video, I really enjoy bloopers and fails. It's probably one of my favorite types of comedy because it's just kind of like accidental comedy, which I really enjoy. Um, so when I came across this video, I got really excited because if it's anything like the last video, I'm sure it's going to be hilarious. So anyways, guys, I don't know re really what to expect here. So let's just go ahead and dive in and check out when BBC weather forecast goes wrong. Bloopers and funny incidents. Really, as we uh, head through into tomorrow, will be um, the prospect, and uh, this isn't working, so just bear with me one second while I talk to you. The prospect that is actually going to turn a good deal milder again, he says, as he reaches for option number two, which is much more old-fashioned, and I can construct it, he says. <clears throat> and there'll be some spectacular lighting, lightning as well, but it quietens down a touch on Sunday, although it will still be hot and humid, not quite as hot and humid as it's going to be in the next few days, Charlie and Lou. <laughs> oh, Carol, don't look behind you. <laughs> don't, don't turn around. <laughs> I was staged by a dog. It's the story of my life. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> as we go through the evening, there could be as much as 10 to 20 millimetres of rainfall. And then we'll see temperatures dropping to around about 11 or 12 <laughs> degrees at Celsius as we go through into the morning. I'll hand you back to Hugh for now, and I'll be back with more for you in half an hour, Hugh. <laughs> Not just one Helen, but two Helens. And I, frankly, I'm happy with two, three, four, five Helens. <laughs> But uh, we'll see you later on, Helen, OK? Yeah, you Thank will. you very much indeed. Well, in eastern areas, will stay dry and fine. And, yes, it's still pretty mild out there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? It's uh, that time of the evening now to get a check on the weather with Wendy. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, well, if you can see me, um, <laughs> we've got uh, fairly decent conditions to end today. But as far as the here and now is concerned, for tomorrow, just prepared for Thor and his lightning balls, bolts. A colder feeling day. In fact, as we go towards Friday and the weekend, temperatures will be back to normal. Scattered spells, showers and some sunshine. <laughs> What? Now, as we head from Thursday into Friday at the moment, it looks like we have a potent area of low pressure coming our way. We're going to block this chart, um, and it looks like it's going to bring some wet and windy weather, possibly with some snow, across some southern areas. The positioning and the timing of this is still in a little bit of doubt, so if you're doing anything outdoors, do keep in touch with the weather forecast. That was entirely my fault. I clicked my clicker twice and that came up. So sorry about that. Susanna, I'm going back to it's, you. It's going to be boiling in town then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check on the weather forecast now. Here's Thomas Schaffernacker. <laughs> I'm in... No, I'm in the wrong... I'm in... Here I am. I think we got our studios mixed up there a little bit. Right, let's get the breakfast time weather outlook. It's Cossa. Who's at the map today? Hello, good morning. Well, we're looking at a fine dry start for many of us. Some misty patches around, but they will still... Oh, see, talk about spectres. I can't speak this morning. It's not good, is it? <laughs> Some problems, obviously. Now we've got high resolution ones, and you can see instead of having one symbol for Wales, the cloud breaks, the rain moves, and we give much more accurate forecasts these days as a result. So, talking of such things, let's take a look at the forecast for the weekend. First of all, what we have is not that chart. We're going to quickly skip through them again. We have got a fair bit of dry weather around. We've also got some rain around, and that's coming in quickly from the west. Technology is great, isn't it? My charts are going backwards. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, if we could just press oh, on with this for a moment or two. Culminating in a shave off on the 29th. Paul Bradshaw, BBC East Midlands Today, Mokit, Harborough. Huh. Oh, brilliant. I wish I hadn't shaved mine off this morning now. Well, let me draw one for you. Come no! On. <laughs> the weather now is uh, an unshaven sorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Dominic. <laughs> Anyway, they might need those. I'd like to know how you know that. Uh, they might need those towards the end of November because it is actually going to turn colder. Central portions of the UK, first thing in the morning, excuse me, 
Um, there will be uh, plenty of rain around uh, 12 degrees Celsius there. I think I tripped over there a little bit. Carol, before we go, um, could you tell us and could you describe again the shape of your favourite cloud and what it is? It's a mammatus cloud and it's like cow's udders. So it's bulbless. You know, you can't hold it in your hand, obviously, it's a cloud, but it's, it's like that. What? Okay. Thanks very much, Carol. I think it was very good. What kind of cloud is that? I, I know, like, I can't remember all the different types of clouds at this point. It's been so long, but like cirrus, 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 cirrus cloud, clouds. Never heard of that one. Description, don't you? Oh, excellent. Uh, some approaching weather fronts in the northwest, and that introduces more cloud with some outbreaks of rain. But with the World Cup starting, you may be heading off to Rio, where there is going to be some glorious sunshine for the opening events. We've got plenty of sunshine to come here. Your the BBC weather seems like they have like they really create some interesting not just news but weather like um, like they have like little things like I guess they're not afraid to kind of uh, go out of the box a little bit so to speak and like I don't see any of this type of stuff on American weather really like you know I, I don't know how to describe this be it kind of being silly or whatever, you don't really see that. Sometimes there are bloopers, but I can't really think of really times I've seen the weather people have like silly dances or whatever. So that's really interesting. Uh, granted, I don't really watch the weather. I don't watch the news or weather, but I do find these bloopers hilarious. Um, maybe because I don't ever watch the news or the weather. But um, yeah, I can't remember last time I actually watched actual TV. I... I Man, when was the last time I watched TV? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, 10, 10 years ago? I don't know. I don't really... I, I basically do everything online, so I don't really have, like, cable or anything, so I have no idea. I, I basically, outside of, like, clips or whatever, I don't really see kind of mainstream TV because I just don't watch the mainstream media. Um, I just, you know, I'll catch some clips here or there, but I just, I'm not a fan of most mainstream me media in America, so... Um, I don't really know much about the media outside of America, so I'm enjoying that. You know, that's another aspect of seeing these bloopers and stuff because it gives me, it gives me an idea of a little bit of what the media is kind of like outside of America. Granted, so far I've only really looked into the BBC, um, but and it kind of seems like uh, pretty funny. There seems to be a lot of bloopers. Granted, maybe it's not. Maybe this is just condensed and this happened over a large period of time, but. So far, it does seem to be like quite a few bloopers going on with the BBC. Um, but I definitely want to continue exploring, you know, British media. I don't know if like, is it mainly the BBC or is it, you know, do you have like a lot of little local channels as well that aren't the BBC? And you have different, I guess you would have different, you know, media for Scotland versus England versus Wales versus Northern Ireland and then the Republic of Ireland. But I don't know. I'm just trying to get a get an idea of like what the media is like over there versus what it is over in America. Because like I said, I don't like American media. Uh, I'm so tired. I got so tired of being lied to constantly by those people that I quit watching. I don't, you know, it's just uh, they're all, they're all just a bunch of liars, in my opinion, you know, um, and I have no idea of anything about media over there in the UK or Ireland, guys. So please feel free to share some videos. I love these bloopers, though. I love these uh, fails and things like that. So I also would love to, uh, you know, watch more of these in the future. So please feel free to share these types of videos uh, in the comments. But anyways, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.